All right, checking out the new nostalgic final release PlayStation Classic 266 add on games for your PS Classic. Really, really cool running auto bleam. Uh, we're going to do some gameplay. Check out the game list. I'm also for this video, really cool. I'm going to show you the two ways you could do this without actually doing any kind of soldering to your PlayStation Classic. I'll show you the Auto Bleem and the Bleem Sync OTG. There's two ways of doing this. Um, I'll also show you about the package and how to set up your thumb drive. And then, as I mentioned, to do this with the OTG or with a thumb drive. So, we're going to start out with checking the image out, do gameplay, and then show you all the technical stuff at the end of the video. All right, all right, another PlayStation Classic build, 266 games, Nostalgia Final. The name of it is the PSX Autobleam 0.6 Beta 2 MISC Nostalgic Package Final, 266 games, MSA. And uh, this is a cool one. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump into it, but so far I'm liking it. And uh, a lot of really great games, as you're going to see. All right, we got 40 winks. Everyone seems to like... Yeah, you can use the trigger buttons to jump letters, by the way. All right, let's start with numbers. Some aliens, Alone in the Dark, some RPGs, Area 51, yeah. Batman to Beyond, Bloody Roar 1 and 2, great games right there. Some good RPGs, Castlevania, Chrono Cross. Some snowboarding games, Crash Bandicoots, looks like almost all of them. You got both the Crocs, you got D. Okay, D is a game, I've never played it. Okay, I'm about to check it out. Uh, Dead or Alive is in here. So in my last video, somebody was like, you only play fighting games. So I gotta I got just keep switching it up. Duke Nukem, Duke <laughs> Nukem, uh, Time to Kill and Total Mountdown. It's a nice collection of games, so fight, Far Fighting Force 1 and 2. Gran Turismo Arcade and Simulation on the 2 and 1. You got your GTAs. Nice to see. Hexen. Jet Moto 3. So not 1 and 2. Some BMX MDK. That was To me, that was always a cool game. Uh, Mega Man's. Metal Gear Solid. Even though it's on the original one as well. Mortal Kombat 3 and 4, and Sub-Zero and Trilogy, Moto Racer, Need for Speed, Hockey, Creatures, both uh, Odd Worlds, Rap and Pepsi Man's on here, Power Rangers, Quake 2, Ridge Racer Type 4, Rayman 1 and 2, Rated Rumble 1 and 2, Resident Evil 2 and 3, and Survivor and Director's Cut, Ridge Racers, two of them. Silent Hill, great, great, great game if you have some time. Spider-Man 1 and 2, Spyros. Dark Forces, love that game. Some Street Fighter action, a lot of it. Strikers. Tekken, 1, 2, 3. Tenchu, Tennis, so you got sports games, racing games. I never played the Fifth Element game, love the movie though. Uh, Raiden Project, which is like Raiden 1 and 2, and I think DX or something else, Time Crisis. Um, so I want to play Pepsi Man, I want to play Time Crisis, Tony Hawk 1 through 4, Twisted Metal 1 through 4, I think. Is there a, th I think there's a 3, right? Vigilante, both of them. Wow, Wipeouts, a lot of them. Worms, love Worms. Worms is a really good, two if you have another person to play with, Worms is great. I never like playing Worms against the computer because they're just too good a lot of the time. It's like they're cheating, you know? So um, let's get this party started here. This is a great racing game too. Um, with, so they say I play too many fighters, so we can't do fighters. But uh, I did want to play a fighter. I'll do Dead or Alive as a fighter. I don't want to get into a game with Diablo right now. All right, so let's start with Hexen.
I like how it was, I mean, because of the way the graphics are, it's like you can hit from so far away. I imagine there's got to be a gun in here, right? First stage, you get a gun. Right, maybe not. You should be able to break the glass out. Ooh, there you go. It's very colorful glass. I'll give you that. Alright, where's this dude at? Kids are getting wrecked. All right, where to next? Here. Five health. Oh, here we go. What just happened? Man, these guys don't even know what's coming their way. Daffy. Oh, the anvil. I like that you can hit the brakes pretty hard in this. Whoa. That's not good. Got him with the old egg. All right, lap two. Got him. Busting wheelies out here, what you know. What do these do, bombs? Oh, you can get like power-ups depending on how many you get. So I'm guessing the best one is the one if you get all the way to the end. Let's get this one. There we go. Let's save it though. That's fine. I'm ready. See that that right trigger with that brake lets you drift it out. Come at me, bro. So you watch the drift out like that. All right, last lap. Busting wheelies out here with my carrot mobile. Should I use my special? I think I should save it. Oh, should have been. Oh, look at that mini map. I'm just demolishing these kids. I guess I should have played on something a little harder, huh? Alright, this is the last. 
Drifted out. Oh! Whoop. I was trying to do a 360 there at the end. <laughs> Almost lost it. You see that? See, that's why you shouldn't showboat, ladies and gentlemen. So, let me try hitting the swap disc button on the PlayStation Classic. Hey, it works. So, I hit just hit manually hit on my PS Classic. I hit that button there. And it worked, no problem. Whoa, that was a lot of lag. Practice room. Oh, okay, I see now. Do I have to throw the hand grenade now? Oh, I thought I had to hit the hand grenade into the that hole. Okay, that wasn't so hard. I think I gotta do like some sort of running and jump thing. Oh, mortar. Okay, so how do I change my weapon? Did not pick up the mortar? Oh, okay, I see. I gotta go back to my sniper mode. Got the mortars now. Did it not go in there? There we go. Yikes, that hurts. I 
I guess I gotta get him over here, huh? Come over to me. Come over here, bruh. Ah. Jeez, these guys are relentless. Oh, I see what's going on. Killed it. All right, cool. Super chain gun. I could have used that a little while ago. Bro. Come at me, bro. Where's this guy dropping? Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, cool game. Uh, hitting select and triangle will open the menu. You can easily exit the game that way as well. Play some MK3 really quick. Toasty into a flyer. Oh, that's right. Ooh. Got him. This guy loves to eat these mines. Let's see if I can beat him with just the mines. Got him. <laughs> All right. Look at that. You can do all sorts of things, even cheats. All right, so here's my image. I have it on my Sony. If you're wondering how much space is left over, you have 1.14 gigabytes. It's using 117 gigabytes. I'll put a link to the USB thumb drive I'm using. 
all your games are in the games folder. So if you want to get rid of games, you can easily just delete and add in new folders. And uh, as you can see, these games are in the PBP format, which definitely what, what that does is it allows you to fit more games. Okay, it's a compression and it allows you to fit a lot more games on a single SD card. So as you see, 268 folders here. Um, so around, I think it's 266 games. I think there might be like a duplicate or something, but it's like right around the 266, 268. Um, you can easily replace some of these AutoBleam files to the newer versions as they come out. So you can upgrade this image as you go. And then as far as um, this image goes, I think I extracted it here. Yeah, this is when it's all extracted. But um, before it's extracted, you should see some um, some zip files like this. And what you want to do is just get a program called 7-Zip. Go ahead and right-click 7-Zip and then extract it. Um, and then what you'll get extracted is this file here. Don't drag this whole file. You just need what's inside the file. And all I did was I dragged all that to my USB thumb drive. The other thing about the thumb drive is it has to be formatted with FAT32. Okay, if you need help with that, I've made so many videos on that so far. There's free FAT32s, but when you click format here, for example, on your Windows PC, you notice you only get XFAT and NTSF. You can't do it with your stock Windows. You need to go download a program like ECUS or, um, you know, there's other programs out there. Just search FAT32 formatter on Google and you can find a bunch of them. So make sure it says Sony in all caps and it's formatted FAT32. And then all I did was I transferred it all over there after our after it's unzipped, okay? After it's unzipped and you have these folders here. That's all you gotta do to set that set up your thumb drive. No no soldering, no hacking required. There is there's some optional things to do. All right, so as far as setting this all up, you have a couple of options. First thing to do is make sure it's unplugged before you plug in your USB. But um, if you have the OTG hack, which is pretty cool. It's just another step you have to do. You have to install some software. This is still a plug and play with this hack. So I hacked my PlayStation Classic and then I'm trying this nostalgic build right here. I just plug in my nostalgic build, plug this back in, and once this amber light comes on, I can turn green, and I still have both my display ports here. But that requires the OTG hack. I'll put a link to that video in the description. It's not that hard, but you have to do that first. Now, for those of you that want easy, no software required, what happens is these draw a lot of power, and so it won't actually boot off this port two. And number two is you you have to null your, um, remember, always unplug before you plug these things in if you want it to work, if it can work. Uh, but this actually won't boot because this is drawing too much power. So A, it won't even work, and then B, you won't have access to your port two. So what you need to do is get a hub and not just any hub, you need to get a hub that has its own dedicated power source. This has its own dedicated power. So now I plug the hub in, and now I have, I can plug my image into here, and then I need to make sure I plug my, now I need two power supplies though. I need one for the back of the, of the PlayStation, and I have this one here for the hub. So you end up with a lot more bulkiness. You have this whole little hub here and the hub you can run the wire. So I mean, I guess you could run it like on the side of your you know, PlayStation, but it gets a little cluttered. But there's no hacking you need to do whatsoever. You can literally just get this all set up with AutoBleam, plug it in like this, no OTG hack, and it should boot, okay? So if you wanna work around without the hack, you can use a powered USB hub. It's a little more cumbersome looks a little bit less professional, but it works, okay? Um, and let me just go ahead and demonstrate that really quick. So, I've got my three power supplies here. One of these is for lights, but two of the ones for the PlayStation Classic, one's for the powered hub. My hub now has a power light on it, that's a good sign. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug back in my power. I'll even get rid of the OTG for now. So you guys see like there's no nothing going on here. So it's just power. Okay. Once this amber turns on, we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And everyone knows the, um, so turn my switch on here. All right, power, let's go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my, 
my tray here. Fresh boot. That's a good sign with the dot, 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 dot. And it should load into auto bleam. So there you go. So we've got it working with the, it's on the powered hub right now. You can see my USB in the hub. Okay, auto bleam works. Let's go ahead and turn it off and then show you option number two. Option number two, we get rid of this. Let me go ahead and make this bigger again. Option two, we get rid of the powered hub. And just to show you, I need to unplug the hub, so it's this one here. Okay, so I no longer have the hub plugged in. But now I gotta add my OTG cable. And remember, this isn't gonna work unless you run the hack, okay? It's not this easy. You can't just buy this cable and this is not gonna work. I previously hacked my Peach PlayStation Classic with Bleem Sync. If I can get this to fit in there, get in the hole. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the, the image and put it into my OTG cable. And so now, let's go ahead and uh, just turn it off really quick, turn it back on. I just like to make sure I do that every time. It's not, I don't think it's necessary at this point, but I just like to do it anyways. Amber light on. We should see, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this webcam and we should see a boot. Same amber lights. And again, again, we're not using this hub. This hub is disconnected. See, I have it unplugged now. Okay, and then we have auto bleam. So see, there's two ways, two foolproof ways to do this. I've made a video on both. I've put links to this hub if you wanna do the hub version, and if you wanna do the OTG, I have links to that. All right, so there you have it. Do I like this image? Yeah, it's great. Plug and play, auto bleam. You can easily update auto bleam as you go just by updating some of the files there. You really don't need to unless you want some of the added features. Um, you can do it a couple ways with the powered hub or through the OTG hack. All the, all the same functionality works, a safe state. Um, I get asked a lot of questions, is it reversible? Yeah, you could just take out the, SD, the, mic, the thumb drive and then uh, boot up and it'll boot up like regular. So it's easy to go back and forth and this is another uh, little uh, add-on pack for you. You can easily rotate between add-on packs. I know people who have like three or four thumb drives, each thumb drive has different games on it. I've also heard of people plugging in a 500 gigabyte or one terabyte hard drive into this. Um, as long as you have enough power to power it, yeah, you can absolutely do that. But um, as far as this image, it looks good. I had no issues. It was an easy download. It was compressed. You just got to unraw it and uh, plug it in. First boot, just launch. It automatically launches Auto Bleem, and you're good to go. So with all that said, I want to give this one an A. I really like it. This is my understanding. This guy's made three or four versions of this. Um, I think some versions have different games on them, but as far as this game list, I'm very happy with it. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.